Hello everybody, welcome to the Crypto Realm. So here we go, Nike and Polygon joining up. Nike launches .swoosh Web3 platform with Polygon NFTs due in 2023. So after Crypto Kicks comes .swoosh, a destination for virtual apparel and other NFT based products with the first drop due in January. All right. So Polygon has just been taken off with good news lately. Matic is just doing nuts. They have so much going for it right now and it's just going to take over a little bit more i think a lot of people are going to use matic polygon ahead of a lot of other blockchains i think it already has a huge following so nike has been one of the biggest fashion world players in web3 through rt fkt the nft and digital apparel startup it acquired in late 2021 and we've seen the apparel giant gradually bring its own brand into the space as well. Now Nike aims to set up its efforts with the launch of a new platform, Dot .swoosh. This should be interesting. So the Dot .swoosh platform is built as the epicenter for Nike's digital efforts around Web3. It's designed to spotlight the brand's NFTs and virtual apparel initiatives, including future ways for customers to become co-creators and share digital project royalties. So Nike will use the platform as a hub to launch virtual apparel like t-shirts and sneakers for avatars that can be used within Web3 games. It will also utilize Web3 tech to allow users to unlock real world benefits such as exclusive physical apparel or chats with pro athletes. Some other popular NFT projects including one from Adidas come with physical apparel or real world perks. The company plans to gradually let new users into the closed platform through the end of the year, ahead of a first NFT drop in January, according to Vogue Business. Nike plans to open up user registrations later this week. Nike's NFT apparel will be minted on Polygon, an Ethereum sidechain network, whereas the previous Nike and RTFKT drops have all been launched via the Ethereum mainnet. Big mistake. <laughs> A Fast Company article suggests that Nike plans to sell digital sneakers for less than $50 a pair. Digital sneakers cost that much? I don't think so, man. Like, that's just a little much. <laughs> we are shaping a marketplace for the future with an accessible platform for the Web3 curious, said Nike Virtual Studios GM Ron Ferris in a release. In this new space, the Dot Swoosh community and Nike can create, share, and benefit together. In a tweet thread, uh, RTFKT representative clarified that the studio isn't overseeing the Dot .swoosh project, but that it is aiding Nike as it expands further into Web3. The company added that Nike will also release digital apparel for RTFKT's CloneX NFT avatars, which those owners could then use in supported Web3 gaming and Metaverse worlds. Oh, ho, ho. so Nike's getting heavily involved. So an NFT is a blockchain token that can represent ownership in a unique digital item, such as a profile picture, PFP or avatar, collectibles, and digital clothing. The NFT market surged to $25 billion worth of trading volume in 2021, and Nike made its first significant push into the space by acquiring RTFKT, pronounced artifact. Oh man, thank you, thank you, because that saying that crap is too much, man. <laughs> So since then, Nike and Artifact have collaborated on Ethereum-based digital NFT sneakers called Crypto Kicks, which can be modified by using skin, skin vial NFTs. Nike purchased the Ethereum name service ensname.swoosh.eth for about 35000 worth of ETH in May. An ENS name can be used to point to a crypto wallet or certain types of websites. Whew, yeah. Get your... Uh, ENS name if you haven't got one already. They're pretty cool. A while back, you, you, if you made one when they first did it, they give you a ENS token as a reward. And a lot of people made a lot of money getting that free airdrop just for creating names on the ENS service. The only thing about ENS, you have to renew your name every year, which sucks pretty bad. So Artifact is best known for its CloneX PFT, PFP project, which was created in collaboration with noted artist Takashi Murakami and launched in November 2021. 
To date, the project has generated some 762 million worth of secondary market trading volume per data from CryptoSlam. Damn. According to public blockchain data aggregated via Dune, Nike has generated 93 million to date in primary NFT sales and another 92 million worth of NFT trading royalties. A majority of that revenue came from the CloneX and other non-Nike non branded artifact releases. Yeah, this NFT thing is huge, really big. And Solona sucks because they wanna not even offer royalties on their NFTs, which is really a bad idea. Let artists make some money, man. This is nuts. Just another reason not to be involved with Solona. <laughs> so there you go. Nike, Polygon. Polygon has so many, so many partners right now. Like the next bull market, you can expect Polygon to be like right up there. Right up there. It's going to be pretty good. Thank you everybody for watching. Play hard, trade smart.